What's more important to you? Your time or your things? That's something to really think about. What's more important? Time, the time that you have alive or the things that you have? I think it's a pretty obvious answer that your time is more important because if you don't have your time, you can't even have your things. But since this is true, how many people actually live according to this viewpoint? You know, a lot of people will work two or three jobs. People will, even when they get off work, go to another hustle that's going to get them more money and to where all their time is spent on this hustle to get more and more and better, better things, bigger cars, bigger houses, you know, and um, we will say things like this is for our children when we know deep down it's for us. We know that um, that we want to have better things. We want people to look at us a certain way. I also found out that you know, we'll, we'll say that it's, it's, you know, things like our kids can have better education. But when we really look at this, we can see that all through life, we've, we've been, um, happy or sad. We've been feeling good or feeling bad. And that goes for everybody. That goes for people that have money. That goes for people that don't have money. That goes for people here in America. That goes for people in third world countries. I've been to over 12 countries while I was in the Navy. I've been to places where, you know, poverty is, is very bad, like Goa, India. I saw kids running around in their underwear, but guess what? They were smiling. They were playing. They actually looked more happy than kids look over here in America. You know, kids over here in America can have Jordans on and, and, and jewelry and nice clothes and still just be little rotten brats <laughs> and be mad and never be happy about anything and always want more and more, running around crying because they can't have this and can't have that. So, you know, when we see what money and the love of money does to our children, I think it'll make us want to spoil them less. But we don't really think that deep. We just think of how people look at us when they see us with our kids. We just don't want to be embarrassed. We don't want people to say, oh, you're not taking good care of your kids. More than we actually care about our kid becoming a better person, building character. So, you know, one of the, the sickening things that's here in America going on right now is abortion. And people here in America that are so entitled actually truly believe that if there's a kid that's going to be born and have to go to foster care or, or be born in poverty, then he's better off dead. Better off dead, you know. And I look at these these kids like that, that were in Goa, India, running around playing with, you know, probably only ate some fruit that day, but they were happy. I look at them and, I, you know, I wonder if I asked them, would you rather be dead? I wonder what they would say. I'm sure they would say no. They wouldn't want to be dead, you know. And there's a lot of people here in America that have grown up in foster care, that have gone on to live healthy lives and happy lives and have found purpose and meaning. And I bet you if you were to ask them, would they rather be dead, they would tell you no. But this is what money does to us. It separates people. It makes classes. It makes, it makes us dehumanize people. We look at people for their trade. We look at people for their, their bracket of money. We look at people for their social status. And, and um, that's how that, that's how we de dehumanize people, you know, through through our race and through our, our money. These are two, you know, two of the biggest tools that Satan uses to divide people and to cause chaos and destruction here on this earth, you know. So I just want you to really, you know, examine yourself and look deep into yourself and ask yourself, what's more important, my time or my money? If my money is more important, what is this doing to my character? What kind of person am I turning into? Just kind of examine yourself and think about this. Whenever I'm called in to work for an extra day, I'll go. 
you know, and but it's not for greed. And it's not for extra money. I go because I actually have found an enjoyment at work. Um, I found out that, that whenever you meditate on things that bring you peace, like God's law and God's word, once you meditate in these things, you can bring your peace anywhere you go. And you can find time you can find a way to enjoy any situation. That's that's bad times and good times. Still are I still have hard times, I still have sad thoughts, I still have evil thoughts. But I don't act on them like I used to. So, you know, the biggest thing that I, I, I had to figure out was that my time is more important than my money. And once I figured out that, then there's a, a instant peace you get because guess what? I have time. I have time right now. Even if I even if I go completely broke, even if I don't have a dollar in my pocket, I have time and that's the most valuable thing. So Remember, your time is more important than your things, and live accordingly. Stop spending all your time hustling. Spend some time working on your soul, because there is a God. There is an afterlife. He does expect something for all of us. He didn't make all this for nothing. He didn't put together all these stars, all these, these things for us to look at, just for us to sit here and enjoy them. There's more than that. Is a purpose. He made all these things so we would know that there was a creator. He wanted us to know this for a reason. He wanted us to know that he's real because we have a purpose. This is why he left he this is why he left the writings of the Bible. This is why Jesus came down. This is why he came down in the flesh as Jesus to show us how we're supposed to live and show us the sacrifice that we need to make to help others and to live for God. I hope this has been some kind of uh, helpful thing for you. I hope you've been able to put some thought into it. God bless. Something to think about.